I do too, and I love a good storm. Yeah. Let's bring it. Let's get the snow up in our mountains. Let's get some rain. Let's start off our water year right. Uh, yeah, so we're kicking off November with a cool winter like storm uh, that's going to be rolling into the Beehive State tonight into tomorrow. But first, it's all about the wind. But this morning, oh, the sunrise was magical. I want to thank Bill Garrard for posting this to Utah's Weather Authority Facebook group. The mountains, the beautiful colors outside. I mean, it was on fire this morning uh, and you can see it's looking different than it did yesterday from the camera up at BYU in Provo. Uh, you, all you see is clouds outside um, in the sky, uh, but it's mild 60 degrees in Salt Lake City. Well above what it felt like yesterday at this time. 57 in Park City. You're in the 50s in Evanston, upper 40s in Bear Lake. Already in the mid 60s in areas like Tooele and 54 in St. George. But as I mentioned, the big story, it's the wind and it's breezy in areas like Salt Lake, Ogden and Ely, our western valleys. You're seeing those winds up to about 26 miles per hour in Milford. They're coming out of the south and they're really going to warm us up today. Mostly cloudy all across the state into southwest Wyoming. And so the big story when we're watching this, we're tracking it. It's this trough of low pressure and it's a strong one. Strong storm that's going to be sending this potent cold front into the beehive state, making its way Wednesday into Thursday. That's when we're going to get the rain and the snow today, though. Mild, windy and cloudy upper 60s winds in Salt Lake City between 25 to 35 miles per hour, actually dealing with gusts between 35 to 45 miles per hour. So we could be dealing with blowing dust in our western deserts. Uh, we could be dealing with power outages. A concern is going to be driving along our east to west oriented routes like I 80. And you can see with that it's going to feel nice outside, but you might not want to be spending time outside when those winds are whipping upper 60s in Salt Lake mid 70s in St. George. So comfortable day tonight. We don't drop down too much. Fairly mild still in the mid 40s. Those winds start dying down and then we get the rain and the snow and so rain uh, will start up in St. George tomorrow, but it'll be really rainy on Thursday. That's going to be your kind of soggy wet day. You'll want the umbrella. You dry out on Friday, but tomorrow uh, is not going to be too cool. You'll drop down to the low 60s Thursday, much cooler in the upper 40s. Northern Utah. Let's take a look at the time timing of this rain and snow so windy today and we're going to see rain starting in northern Utah early tomorrow morning and throughout the daytime it's going to start spreading south snow up in our mountains rain in the valleys but Wednesday afternoon that's when you're going to start to see some rain and snow mixing down to the valley floors especially Wednesday night into Thursday we struggle to warm up mid 40s on Thursday and by Friday we dry out. That's our day where we get a break from the storms. Another one rolls through on Saturday. The storm this weekend is not going to be as strong as the one we see tomorrow and Thursday, but it is going to bring us a chance for rain showers for your Saturday, your Sunday with the rain and snow mix by the time we get to Monday overnight lows.